Hi, welcome to today's morning practice. So we're going to begin with a little mindfulness activity today to really ground into your surroundings and really notice where you are today. So it's this little exercise you can do anytime. It's um, it's pretty common, so you, you might have also heard it before too, but we're going to just start with notice five things you see. And so I'm out on the dock right now. And I see boats, I see water rippling, I see the metal um, the metal dock coming down to this platform I'm on. I see big pillars holding the dock. I see sailboat masts sticking up above the dock. I see a little boat shed covering in the distance. And so next, notice four things that you feel. And it's a little chilly, so I feel a cold breeze. I feel my hair down the back of my neck and spine and a ponytail. I feel my shirt on my arms. And I feel the yoga mat kind of pressing into my feet, the little little bumpies on the yoga mat. So next, three things that you hear. I hear lots of birds this morning. I hear car noise. Very faint, not not too crazy. And I hear kind of, it must be wind hitting something in the distance because it kind of sounds like a little bit of a tunnel. And so next, we're going to notice two things that you smell. And it smells like salt water down here. Those, I love that smell. Um, and it also smells faintly like boat boat fuel. And then lastly, what is one thing you taste? And I just had some coffee, so I can taste coffee. So hopefully that helps make you feel a little bit more grounded as we're starting today's practice. Um, And now we're going to move into some breath stretches. And so the point of this exercise is to acknowledge our breath in different aspects of our diaphragm. So we're going to start in the front and then work to fill our breath really in our back body and then into each side body. So I will I will show you how to go through this with the movement. Um, I'll kind of walk you through it once and then send you for three breath cycles on your own because we all have a little different breathing patterns. So the first one, what we're going to do is we're we're wanting to open in our chest in order to really feel and inhale, really feel that breath in the front of our diaphragm. So what you're going to do if it feels good is clasp your hands behind your back. We're going to inhale, open, dropping our chest slightly. I'm sorry, dropping our chin slightly towards our chest and then exhale back to center. So Inhale and exhale. So now try three of those on your own, working with your breath, really listening to your breath as you move in your body. Great, now we're gonna work to fill that breath in the back of our body. So this time, you and it doesn't matter which hand is holding which wrist, you're gonna really arch your back, almost like you're doing a, well, basically doing a cat, cat spine, like cat cow. So inhale, filling it in the back, and exhale back to center. So this time, three of those on your own. Great. Now we're going to move into the side body, um, and I'm going to mirror you this time. So first, you're going to bring your left fingertips to the earth, and then bring your right hand to your rib cage. And as we lean left, we're going to really open, inhale, into that right side body. So inhale, and then exhale brings you back to center. Now we're going to move into the other side. So bringing your right fingertips to the earth, uh, left hand to your rib cage. And as we lean right, we're going to inhale into that side body.
Great. Now we're going to make our way into child's pose, um, balasana here. And if you are pregnant like myself, you might want to keep a much wider, um, wider legs as you're in child's pose. Otherwise, it just doesn't feel great and feels like very little room for the baby. So walk your hands forward, really feeling that through your back body, pressing your forehead into the earth. And if it feels good, you can also take an option to kind of walk your elbows a little bit more forward, um, bringing your palms together and back behind your head. It's like a little shark fin here. And just this is a nice release in the upper back and triceps. Then we're going to lengthen those hands again and walk our hands just a little bit to the left corner of the mat. Walk back, hands back to center, and walking them a little bit over to the right. When you're ready, come up to tabletop. We're going to just move through a couple cat cows here. Uh, again, keeping your uh, knees under your hips, wrists under your shoulders, really pressing into those fingertips so we leave, relieve some of that pressure on, that, on those wrists. So inhale, cat, cow, I'm sorry. <laughs> Exhale, cat, really rounding through that back. Inhale, drop your belly. And exhale, press through. Inhale, cow reaching your tailbone up to the sky. And exhale, ground back through cat. And here, if you'd like to take a little calf stretch in tabletop here, press through each calf for a few breaths. I just think that feels really good. So this next one is a really nice kind of heart opener um, and stretch in the upper back. So we're going to open. And if you want to just keep your hand on your waist as well, and the inhale and then exhale, we're going to take our right hand, thread it through underneath you can walk that hand forward it feels good just feeling a nice stretch here so you're gonna walk that left hand back come back to tabletop and this time open to the left again you can just keep your hand on your waist you can bring your hand up if it feels good whatever feels best in your body today and then exhale, thread it through, left hand coming down, left ear coming to the ground. Maybe walk that hand forward. And unwind back to tabletop. And so here we're going to tuck our toes under and you might want to help your little baby toes because sometimes they don't like to tuck as well. And sit back on your heels. And so... Here, we're just really grounding through those toes. It's a nice toe stretch. Finding length here as you breathe. And when you're ready, we're going to come into our first downward dog. So again, really finding stability in your hands, pressing through those fingertips, walking those toes back. And it is great to keep a lift in those heels especially for the first one in the day. You might want to find some, some bend in your legs, almost like walking through that downward facing dog. When we're ready, we're going to walk up to our hands and move through three rounds of our Sun Salutation A. And so these are going to be a bit modified today. So let everything hang here in forward fold. And on your next inhale, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. 
and inhale, circle sweep our hands up. Exhale, press the earth, the earth away, the air away, fold. And then we're going to step back into a modified plank. So here, um, hands and wrists under the shoulders, just nice lowered plank. If you want to include a little baby push up here, you can. And back to downward facing dog. I'm going to walk those hands, feet up to our hands, letting everything hang, forward fold. And we're going to move through two more rounds of that. So really working to move with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep, hands up. Exhale, press the, or the air away. And then just notice right here. You're gonna inhale, exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen, halfway lift. Exhale, fold, step back to a little half plank here. Exhale, mini push up. Inhale, and then exhale, peel back to downward facing dog. We'll walk our feet up to those hands. Forward fold here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep, hands up. Exhale, press the air away. Hands back to center. So one more time through this, just really waking up through the body. Inhale, circle sweep, hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. We're going to step back into our low plank here. And then we're going to exhale, press away a little mini push-up if you want. Inhale, and then exhale, back to downward facing dog. And if you'd like to bend your knees and include a little hop here, you totally can. And a forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle sweep your arms up and hands to heart center. Notice how you feel. Do you feel a little bit more warmed up? Do you feel like you're easing into your day a little bit? Just have a couple breaths here. So now we're going to come in to our chair pose and do a little open twist each way. Each way. So we're going to inhale, exhale, sink back to chair. And again, really finding a good foundation here. So sinking into those heels, arms reach nice and tall alongside those ears. And we're going to exhale, open left. And so again, we don't want to crank, especially in our bellies right now. So if it's not perfectly open, that's great. It can be right here. And inhale, bring that left hand up and exhale, twist to the right. And again, we want to think about more of lengthening and opening instead of cranking into the twist. You're going to inhale that hand up and really nice and tall, maybe a tiny little back bend here. And then bring the hands back to heart center. So going to inhale. Exhale, press the air away, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. This time, stepping the left leg back. Coming into a low lunge here. And if it feels good, you can keep the toes tucked or keep the top of your foot on the ground, whichever feels best in your body. And just really sinking into that here. You might want to inhale your hands up. And then we're going to exhale, peel those right toes up into a little half split. So feeling a nice hamstring stretch here. Often when our hamstrings are tight, it creates um, kind of some tightness in our lower back as well. So this feels really good. And 
And when you're ready, come through to low lunge. And then exhale, bring those hands back to the mat, stepping forward into a forward fold. So you can move into the other side of that. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stepping back, right leg this time into a low lunge. So find a low lunge that feels really good for you. Then we're going to exhale, peel those left toes up and back, really trying to keep those hips square and a nice lengthening in the spine. So we don't want to crunch into it. So if, if it feels good to bend your left knee and keep more length in the spine, that's much preferred than any rounding. So we really want to keep length in that. And I'm going to roll through back to that low lunge. And then step forward to the top of your mat. Really letting everything hang from your hips forward here. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, circle, sweep, arms up. And exhale, hands to heart center. And so now we're going to come into a little standing warrior sequence. And we're just going to move through some, some postures here now that we're starting to wake up a little bit more, finding a little more heat as we get started in our day. Inhale, circle, sweep, hands up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And inhale into Utkatasana chair pose. Lifting those toes, sinking back deep. When you're ready, you're going to inhale, lift that left leg back into crescent lunge. So take a second here in crescent lunge. And then exhale into warrior two. So this time, keeping our right toes, knee, fingers, and looking right, kind of opening those left toes towards the front of your, um, front of your mouth. Then we're going to inhale, reach, reverse warrior, and exhale, extended side angle. Let your inhale lift you back to warrior two, and then crescent lunge, and back to the top of your mat. We've got some ripples here. <laughs> All right, now we're going to move into the other side. So inhale, circle, sweep your hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale into Utkatasana chair pose, sinking into those heels. Then let your inhale lift your right leg, bringing it back, Whoop, crescent lunge. You're going to inhale and exhale into warrior two. This time, our left toes, knee, fingertips, and looking left. You're going to inhale, reach through that side body. Nice stretch. And exhale back into reverse warrior. Really trying to keep our, our chest open so we are almost like we're between two planes of glass. Inhale and then exhale into extended side angle here. Then rolling back into warrior two before coming back to crescent lunge. Nice inhale here. Inhale, come back to the top of your mat. And we're going to move through that sequence one more time and then add a little balancing posture in at the end. And this is just to play around with. You don't, you don't have to do it successfully or whatever success may, may want you want that to look like. Just play around with it and have fun with it. So we're going to move through that one more time. Inhale, circle sweep hands up. Exhale, forward fold, press the air away. Inhale, lift, lengthening through the crown of your head here. Exhale, fold. 
Inhale, Utkatasana Chair Pose. I'm going to inhale those toes back into Crescent Lunge. Finding a really nice foundation here. And exhale to Warrior Two. Looking right. Inhale, really stretch through that side body before you peel back, Reverse Warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Again, really keeping that chest open. You can keep your hands, fingers straight to the ceiling or sky too, if that feels good. Or you can bring it to bring your bicep over your ear. I'm gonna inhale, cartwheel up to warrior two. Exhale back to crescent lunge. Inhale to the top of your mat. So here, what we're gonna play with is dancer's pose. And I definitely on the dock have a little less stability than I normally feel like. So I'll probably just be in the same boat <laughs> as everyone. So what you're going to do is first ground into that right leg. Really feeling those toes. And if it feels good, we're just going to bring our left hand to the inside of our foot. And so here, what we're trying to do is we're almost acting like a teeter-totter. Where as we push, push, press away, we're also leaning. So we're trying to find that equilibrium, trying to find that balance here. And actually this one is not so tippy. <laughs> um, so just play with it. And if you fall out of it, come back. And I feel like the tendency is when we're in balanced postures, the tendency is if we feel like we're going to fall, we try to rush. So instead of, if you feel the urge to let me quick correct it, let instead take a time to just step back and go as slow as possible. So bringing your hand to the inside of that left foot as you press away, and again, see, a little wobbly here. And as you press your fingertips forward, really lean into that. <laughs> yeah, this might be interesting today. Really pressing through and press. Whoop. So yeah, and it's not working that well for me today. That's okay. So wherever you are today, play with it, have fun with it, and then let it go. And we're going to move to the other side. So inhale, circle, sweep hands up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, Utkatasana chair pose. And then inhale, bring that back to crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two, looking left this time. Gonna inhale and exhale, come back to reverse warrior. Inhale and then exhale, extended side angle. Kind of cartwheel, inhale up to warrior two, back to crescent lunge, and back to the top of your mat. So we're gonna move into dancer in the other side. So this time finding foundation in your left feet, left toes, bringing that right hand to the inside. And as you press with your foot away, we're really gonna reach, reaching here, new side, new opportunity to try again. And if you fall out, try and fall as gracefully as possible. So we're going to really press through that foot as we reach, finding that equilibrium, finding that balance. And when you're done, come back to center. So we're going to just come back and we're going to come down to the mat into downward facing dog. So inhale, exhale, fold, inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Coming back into downward facing dog, you might feel a lot more loose and stretch this time around. And this time we're gonna walk our hands back to our feet, kind of bringing our big toes a little wide and coming down into Malasana, into our squat here. And so 
even though we're low to the ground, even though we're squatting down, we still want to find a nice lift and length in here. How do you feel this morning? Do you feel more ready to meet the day? Do you feel more grounded? Notice how you feel. How are you ready to move into your day? When you're done, we're going to come into a seated staff pose on Dasana here. You might want to move the fleshy part of your glutes away, even bend in your knees so you can sit nice and tall. We're going to exhale a little fold here. And again, if you're pregnant, you might want to keep a bit of a wide stance here. When you're done, we are going to move into a stretch I really like. So again, with this, be really gentle with your body, making sure you're listening every step of the way. So we're going to first come into just a little seated um, pigeon here. So or figure four and um, pressing through those heels, bringing that I'm going to mirror again. So bringing that left ankle on top of that right knee and really just kind of rocking through, finding some gentle movements here and here if it feels good we're going to take our right leg walk our foot over to the left side of our mat and start to come where we're going to work to bring this knee towards this ankle and so again making sure you're moving really slow here this if your shin is walked towards the front of your mat you're going to feel a deeper stretch if you walk that right shin back a little it will be less of a stretch. So really find, find where your edge is, where it's not painful, it's not pulling, but you're just really feeling a nice opening here. And so for me, I have a lot of space right here. We're just gonna sink into that. So really breathe through that stretch. And when you're ready to come out, this time we're going to kind of lean a little right, walking that foot around, just being really gentle with the body. So now we're going to come into that on the other side. So this time bringing our right ankle just above our left knee. And just find some movement here. as we kind of warm that hip up for this fire log posture. So if it feels good in your body, walking your left foot towards the right side of your mat, and we're just gonna open that knee down to the heel, but not pushing, just letting it go where it feels good. So again, figuring out how far out do you want your shin? Do you want it closer in? Finding what feels best for you. And once you find somewhere that feels good, it feels like a nice stretch in that outer hip and glutes, we release into that. And these postures are so great for our lower back. And when you're done, gently roll to that left side a little bit so you can unwind. And we're going to come just briefly onto our back. We're, we don't want to just lay flat on our back and um, cut off any um, circulation or put too much pressure on our backs if it doesn't feel good. But for just a few seconds here, if it feels okay for you, you can come down to lower back to roll out the sacrum. And again, if at any moment you feel any sort of dizziness or um, it doesn't feel good, make sure you're comfortable on your side. But just rolling through that sacrum feels really nice here. 
And if it feels good, you can bring your arms to contact it. And we're gonna drop our knees to the left, opening, find a nice open twist here. So we wanna have twists that are spacious in our body, not closing anything off. So we're pregnant. Inhale, knees back up to center. And exhale, dropping them over to the right. Maybe looking a little left if that feels good. Or you can just lift straight up to the sky. When you're done, back to center. And for our final resting posture, we're gonna come onto our left side. If you have a pillow or a blanket, it might feel good to put a little pillow under your head or between your legs to find, to just find some good rest here. And I've been on a poetry kick, so, a Jonah Donahue poetry kick. So I'm going to read a poem to you as you're resting here. Notice how you feel today. Notice how you want to feel for the rest of your day. And this one's called For Equilibrium. This is one of my favorites. Like the joy of the sea coming home to shore, may the relief of laughter rinse your soul. As the wind loves to call things to dance, may your gravity be lightened by grace. Like the dignity of moonlight restoring the earth, may your thoughts incline with reverence and respect. As water takes whatever shape it is in, so free may you become, so free may you be about who you become. As silence smiles on the other side of what's said, may your sense of irony bring perspective. As time remains free of all that it frames, may your mind stay clear of all it names. May your prayer of listening deepen enough to hear in the depths the laughter of God. Um, so enjoy today. Thank you for practicing and I will see you next time. Namaste.